Welcome back, everybody, once again to Strawberry Jam number 24. The theme of this jam is machines, and I am TJ the Obscure with you. I think we'll be safe there, right? Oh, Mr. Enderman, come here. Come here, I would like to potentially st steal your pearl, please. Oh, where'd you go, guy? Okay, yeah, stay right there. That's a good place. That's a good place for you. Oh, gosh, okay. I was thinking this may not be the, the best possible place to be. Oh gosh, stop guy. Stop, please. And just... Die already. How are you not dead? Did you drop a pearl? No pearl for us. Okay. Uh, I was gonna try to do some exploration, but I just haven't had the time for it. And so we're basically right where we left off last time. I did take the time to collect some blocks. These rabbits are freaking me out because I keep thinking there are creepers nearby. Let's go ahead and collect all of our things. Do we want to make an axe? I think I do want to make an axe, actually. I don't have an axe, do I? I don't think so. Alright, uh, let's get rid of junk that we do not need. Um, I want to hold on to my... My last little stick jump boost. And get that guy over there. I went ahead and I made just a normal normal bow. I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the crossbow. It's slow. I mean, the one benefit of the crossbow, I think, it, uh, would really come in handy, especially in PvP, is that you can you know load it up and then have it ready so you can fire and then quickly switch to your sword type thing. Um, I don't see a lot of applications in... PVE though. I could be wrong about that. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and head into this uh, this area next since I think that's where we want to be going. I don't know, it was the first place that I saw after coming out of the last the last area, so it's it's a good good guess I would say. Uh, and this is where I dug the blocks and I kind of peeked my head in and just look at this monstrosity. This is um I don't even know where to begin, Fornin. Like, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, they have slabs now. They have slabs of the of the granite and stuff. I'm guessing slabs of the andesite and diorite as well. Okay, spawner up ahead. It goes up too, and we saw that there's a phantom spawner up top. At least what I'm assuming is a phantom spawner. Um, but if I had to guess, we need to head into this place, whatever it is. I don't have any more arrows. Oh gosh, okay. I thought you were going to be the same, like, from the la previous episode, or previous area. But those guys are... Ooh, those guys are fast. Wow, okay. Interesting. Let's go ahead and take you out. I need some arrows. I desperately, desperately need the arrows. Watch out for fallen creepers. What on earth is that? Oh my gosh. Okay. I've seen a little bit about these guys, but I don't really know much about them. Oh my gosh, you're fast too. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, they are really fast. They also seem to kind of trigger like... Like zombies do. Like, I hit one and then the other ones came after me. What are those guys called? Quick Charge 3. Interesting. Whoa. Um... I, I mean, that's kind of fast. It's probably about as fast as just pulling a regular bow back, though. Which honestly doesn't seem that fast to me. Alright. Take a U out. I would love, like, a quick draw for the regular bow. That would be awesome. Maybe you can apply that to the regular bow. And... Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Okay. We got some more armor. Scaffolding. That's a... Uh, that's another new one for me. I don't have any wood. <laughs> um, 
This is going to prove problematic, I think. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the wool up just for safekeeping. Because I saw that there's lava down at the bottom, and I would rather not lose that. Scaffolding. Uh... Can you not... Wait, what? Well, that's weird. I can't place the scaffolding. Like, do you have to build it like this? Do I have to hold shift? I guess holding shift works. Whoa, okay. This is all very new to me. Um, holding space seems to climb up. And holding shift goes down. But I need to hold shift to place it. Gosh, that seems really, again, quite, um, just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Sure, Mojang, you, you do your thing, then. Um, oh, you guys are terrifying, I must say. Can you hit me in the corner like this? Ha! That was hilarious. Oh, they don't, they don't aggro against each other, though. I forget what these guys are called, like Ravagers or something like that? Oh, they seem... They, they're doing a lot of damage. Let's eat some food. Oh, man. And they, uh... They have their bows drawn and ready to go. Um... Ooh. Sure we don't have any more armor, huh? Haha. <laughs> Do the guys not drop arrows? I feel like they should drop arrows. But I guess not. I hear the spiders. What are you? Some more of the fast zombies. And down you go. Fantastic. And of course they have to give me hunger. And all we have are these measly, measly... Uh, pieces of rabbit. Um, okay, I see phantom spawner. I see lots of, lots of stuff. The scaffolding. Looks like that's how we're supposed to get around. We apparently set off a phantom spawner. Over there, let's stay away from that. I don't see a good indication of where the... Wool might be. So I guess we just gotta... We just gotta follow the path. Um... Oh, chest, chest. Uh, let's do that. And that. Oh, man, everything about 1.14 is really kind of throwing me off here. The shifting is really, really... It uh, just feels really weird to me. No, I want I want you to, to get launched off the edge, please. Uh, um, I can't, why can't I not hit him? I feel like I should definitely be able to hit him from right there. We're going to die. I need wood. I need so many things right now. Um, thankfully those phantoms have not noticed us yet. I guess let's go down. And attack. Like a so. The reach feels off too. Two arrows. Oh, I forget that we have this thing that gives us strength, right? Those guys must be below me. If I had to guess. I thought they might be above me, but... Yeah. Escape Charm. When taking melee damage, apply Slowness 3 to nearby mobs. Uh... Ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like the Strength one is going to be better just for... Actually taking the mobs out. 
you know? I really, I can't face those phantoms right now. We ha only have three arrows. I feel like that one's trying to target me, but maybe it just got stuck or something. I'm feeling very trapped. And maybe, like, we've missed something? I'm just gonna dig down, though. And see... Wow. Okay, hopefully there's no skellies. Uh... Sure. Something... Like that, maybe? Come here, guys. There we go. That's how you do it. They're so fast. They're so fast that it's actually confusing their AI, I think. Yeah, the strength charm is definitely going to be the way to go here. Just given how quickly they build up. Hey there, guy. You coming to say hello? I think I see how we were supposed to go down. There's a staircase there. But I just can't mess with the phantoms, so... I can't tell what kind of... Pillagers, right? That's what they're called, pillagers, I think. Um... There's another zombie spawner. I'm also trying to keep an eye out for chests. What is that? I can't tell if that's Phantom or if that's... one of these other guys. Let's try our best not to... fall off of the bridge. Um... Oh gosh, I don't like this whatsoever. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, uh... Let's do that. This is gonna be really slow going, I must say. Really, really slow going. Let's give ourselves a little backstop here. Armor's looking okay. Oh, they do so much damage. Alright, there's one down. Where did everybody else go? I'm trying to I'm trying to use my strength, people. Uh that and that. Did I kill I guess I killed all the pillagers. Maybe I knocked one off or something, I just didn't know it. Let's go ahead and try to disable the spawners here. This green stuff is also new to me. It looks like sugarcane, but not sugarcane. Well, we have set out the phantoms. But I'm not sure if they've noticed me yet. Uh, let's see here, what is this? Bamboo. Does it have any special properties? Can I do anything with it? Can I use it as wood, maybe? Um, oh, I can. I can, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Okay, fantastic. Uh, yes, please. Will it chop down faster with an axe? Yes, it will. Okay, we got, we got sticks. We got all the sticks. That's interesting. Uh, let's make some more torches. Just like a so. I'm getting low on blocks again. I do not want to go in that direction, because I do not want to mess with these phantoms. Actually, let's leave a one block space so that we can retreat if need be. Creepers. Um, okay, I'm not going to waste my arrows. Oh gosh, the little half slab messed me up there. Let me through, let me through, let me through. Well, that was interesting. They like... Okay, well, 
Creepers have short fuses. Don't get too close to the phantoms, guy. Destroy you. And destroy you. I'm still having trouble getting used to these new spawners. Um. Oh gosh, no, 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 no. Oh, shifting on... On the, uh... The, whatever those blocks are called is that's a little ooh, that's crazy because you start to go down them right have like a whole area where you're like on a ledge so you kind of instinctually shift but it's made out of made out of those blocks that would be hilarious all right let's see here that creeper is gonna murder our face gosh i was kind of hoping one arrow might do the trick but apparently not and i was hoping these guys would Push each other off. Um, let's see here. I need blocks. Kind of hoping that we stay out of range of the spawners, but that's probably not very likely. Uh, I think we actually were out of range. That is fantastic. Wow. What are you doing to me, Fornan? This is insane, man. Actually, I mean, it's not too bad. But, um... I definitely feel like I feel like I'm playing Gatherock again, where I really gotta go slowly so as to not make any... Crazy mistakes. These phantoms are really terrifying me at this point. Oh my gosh. Alright. Back up. Back up. Um, is that how this works? Oh gosh, I'm stuck in the block. Okay. Those seem weird. Fortin did say that you know, he made this with the intention of trying to introduce players to new 1.14 mechanics. That's not good. Um, that's not good at all. I don't have any wood. I don't have enough cobble to make a pickaxe. I don't think there's any cobble around. We should probably see what's in the chest. Is it just you down there, guy? Probably not, right? There's probably a bunch of you guys. Or not. Or not. I need the foods. Pretty, pretty please. Thank you very much. Uh, but let's see what's in the chest. If there's not materials for a pick oh I think we got noticed we did indeed get noticed although the phantom AI is so <laughs> kind of ridiculous um I just realized we can't break their spawners well we can light them up potentially I need to get this guy to come here please All right, well, hopefully that at least kind of keeps him away, or not, or not. Um, just give me some privacy, please. Thank you very much. Really? Oh, and I just trapped myself in here. Gosh dang it. Huh. At this point, I almost feel like like we, we must have missed something. Or we're going to have to go and try to find some resources elsewhere. There's just no way for us to really progress at this point, I don't think. It would be great to be able to get like a better look of things. Okay. And the phantom is... Still chasing after us. Uh, 
Uh, nope. Whoa, gosh, guy, you came out of nowhere, man. That's not cool. Um. Oh, what did he drop? I dropped steak. Interesting. That is very, very interesting indeed. Uh, okay, there's a chest along the way, but yeah, we're not gonna be able to deal with these phantoms. Um... Okay, I'm surprised that chest was empty, too. I'm assuming that was just an oversight on Fornan's part, but maybe not. And, yeah, let's... Go ahead and retreat, I think. I just, it looks like it goes on forever and ever and ever. Um, I was gonna say maybe we can go this direction, but I just remembered we don't have a pickaxe, so we can't really do that. I don't have one in my inventory, right? I'm not just missing it or something. Okay, let's, uh, Let's retreat then. Let's go and explore a little bit to see what we can find. And of course, there's another phantom after us. I really like the look of this new smooth sandstone. It's quite, quite smooth. Okay. Not really a fan of retreating like this, but again, I don't really see many other options. So I think I think let's head in this direction, but maybe try to avoid the phantom spawners. They seem to have higher spawn radius than normal. We can always, we could kill rabbits for, um, for food and for bum, 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 leather, although that would take a, take a long, long time. Okay, we got something up ahead here. There's a phantom spawner right there. That is a cool looking statue, man. Very, very cool looking statue. Very steampunk. Gosh, what does that remind me of? Is it something off of Fallout? Is that what I'm thinking of? That, it's that gas mask looking thing. Okay, something tells me this is probably the monument. It's an interesting... Interesting idea for a monument, that's for sure. Are we supposed to walk up the arm here, maybe? I saw the scaffolding, but this almost looks like a staircase. Sorry for ruining your statue there, guy. The crafting bench. Um... I, I do not like these scaffolding things. But that's just because I'm resistant to change, I guess. They just seem really weird. I don't really know how to... Can you attack from within them? It seems like you probably can. And then shift... Wait. Shift is to go down. Uh, if I hold shift and press space at the same time, I go up. I don't know, maybe maybe they could be useful. But yeah, this does seem like it's like it's the monument. So let's go ahead and place the orange rule. Oh wow. Okay, this is what I was trying to do in my map and Fornan pulled it off in a much more elegant and <laughs> cool way. But the wools provide tangible benefits. I gave speed one in my map. 
He's giving us speed three, which would certainly come in handy against. Oh my gosh, and there's a map too. Which would certainly come in handy against the. Uh, whoa, okay. Against those zombies. That might be a better way to look at it. We spawned over here. There's the Orange Wool Dungeon. We were just at Cyan. This is kind of, ooh, it's making me dizzy. But this, it doesn't have the Black Wool Dungeon location on it. Uh, okay. It still doesn't solve our our problem with not having a pickaxe, though. Maybe there's some resources hidden around the monument. Uh, maybe we missed something in the first dungeon. I don't really know what to do at this point. Too bad you can't make like a sandstone pickaxe that has like ten durability. Even something like that would be fine with me. But it didn't look like there was much else on the map either, so yeah, I'm I'm kind of at a loss. I mean I guess we could try to make some more progress and hope that we stumble upon a chest with something in it. Um, yeah, okay. I guess, I think that's what we're going to have to do at this point. Let me go ahead and pick up what rabbit we have quickly. And then we'll head back in there. I need blocks to... This might actually be a good idea now. And let's go ahead and combine those guys. Oh, I need blocks, but of course, oh, I guess I can I can dig out sand. We can even make a shovel. So I don't want to waste my one piece of cobble to make a shovel so that we can get some blocks. Alright, how much we got? We got 58 sand, which is going to give us 14 sandstone. Not much. I just realized I cannot break my smoker now. Alright, well, I feel like we don't really have many options. Um, maybe take some of the jump boost, and we'll just try to run and jump our way through this area. Probably die pretty quickly, but we'll see. Let's do that. And... Yeah, I mean, I don't really... I, there's just no, no good options at this point. Let's get the other one right there on our bar. And try to figure out where the heck we need to go in this place. I'm thinking that with the speed three, we might be able to jump from like place to place, especially if we have the jump boost going. Some feather falling would be nice too. Oh. Okay, I don't know, that was weird, it wouldn't let me go down for some reason. Gosh dang it, and the phantoms spawned again. Because of course they did. Of course they did. Uh, maybe we can get over, nope, I was going to say maybe we can get over that one and disable it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> kind of hard to do without a pickaxe. Okay, well we know that we saw that chest over here, right? So let's let's start there. Can we make this jump? Nope. Not when you fail that that miserably guy and you're going to waste all your blocks getting back up to the top. Oh, we are within range. Oh, the phantom spawners, man. Um Well, we got some arrows and some sticks. Too bad I can't make a pickaxe out of sticks. That would be amazing. 
okay. Well, I think we want to go down, right? And down some more, maybe? Let's take a moment to regen health. It looks like stuff is... I don't know, man. This is confusing. Like, I don't even know where to go. There's just so many different options here. I see spawners, I think, in that direction. I would assume following the spawners is going to be a good idea. Maybe that building over there? Um, there's creepers right there. Let's just... Keep falling down, I guess. I don't see any more chests. I don't even see any spawners at this point. Maybe we went too low. I, I almost feel like we're supposed to like follow the bamboo or something. Um. Oh, okay. Well, we hear. Guardians. Let's... Okay, there is a spawner down there. And Mr. Skeleton, please, please, please leave me alone. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Oh no, there are spawners over here. Okay. So maybe, yeah, following the bamboo seems like it might be a decent idea. Oh, there's spawners all the way down there, too. Um. Okay. I really don't want to get close to any of the spawners at this point. Simply because we cannot disable them. Oh, I do see a chest over there. Um, let's see here. I don't think I see any spawn. Oh, look, look, look! Feather falling, some food, jump boost. Uh, okay, well. I don't even have any boots to put the feather falling on. Um, I think I see light in that direction. What are these guys? Okay, that's the zombies. I was afraid it might be... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Some wood. Efficiency. A helmet. That. 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 Uh, let's get... Oh, I love the guys with the, the crossbows down below. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's slap you on. Crafting bench. Oh, okay. Well, wood... Wood pack... Uh, uh, wood pickaxe is better than nothing. And would we get efficiency? Oh, yeah, we can even put some efficiency on it. Sure, why not? Why not? Efficiency one, wood pick. And... Oh, I need blocks. I need everything. How do we make the smooth sandstone? Is it like this? Cut sandstone. Smooth sandstone. Okay. I don't think those are the same. Um... Let's see here. I want to head towards that light that we saw. Although it's hard to tell if that's actually light or if it's just something else. Um, my eyes playing tricks on me or something, or lava. I, I mean, I guess lava is still light, but... Okay, well that gives us 
That gives us some blocks to work with. Whoa, good guy. How on earth did you do that? I have no idea. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Collect you. And can we get over here and take out your spawner by any chance? Uh, yes, we can. Okay, now that's definitely light. He's down below. Um, okay, I think that's the wool right there. And there's a chest right there. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the layout here. It's too confusing and there's just too many options as far as where to go and stuff. Um, let's do that. And that. And destroy. Looks like there's a couple different chests, in fact. Arrows and wood are much, much appreciated. I hear the, the crossbow deeds below me. Uh, can I get... Whoa. That was close. But we accomplished what I set out to accomplish. Oh, it looks like there's more armor. Okay. Uh, we don't need you. I kind of want you. We don't need you. Blast protection. There we go. That's good. Chests are good. Quick charge. Let's put you on. Um, I don't think we need a grindstone at all, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, the wool is just right there. Quick charge. Sure, we'll take it. There's an anvil. And I think that's just another smoker and stuff over there. There's also like a staircase right there, which kind of makes me curious. Uh, this seems way too easy. Like, way, way too easy. Okay, well. I guess, I guess that's it. Um, I thought I saw another chest for a second. But I guess not. Now we just need to escape. Blocks, please. Oh, let me up, let me up, let me up. And let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm overall just not a huge fan of this of this area. I uh, clearly made the mistake of not not exploring and finding the monument beforehand for the speed buff. But, I mean, even then, just the layout of the dungeon is, is really confusing. It's too big. And, uh, I don't know, just there's... <laughs> it's a really... It's, it's unique, to say the least. I don't know if I've ever seen a dungeon quite like this before, but it's um ultimately just really confusing. I don't remember how we got up or down. I think we we just started jumping down, right? I think so. Uh so let's just start hopping back up, I guess. Uh should we try to see if we can take out that phantom spawner finally? 
since it's been driving us crazy this whole time. Fantastic. You know, I think I kind of see what Fortnite intended, which is like really fast-paced gameplay, jumping from one thing to the next. Uh, again, I, st I still think it's too big for that, and laying out a better path for the player to follow would be good. I'm not sure if that was what the bamboo was supposed to do. Well, I guess we never actually set you off. Um... I mean, it seems like it would be a cool area, but it didn't work out, I don't think, the way that you had intended it to work out. At least not for my playthrough. And, uh... I st I'm still surprised that we haven't found any more cobble. But maybe that's... Maybe that's intentional. Um, let's go ahead and take you. I suppose... I'm going to head back to the monument, and next episode we will place the cyan wool. I'm assuming we'll get some other buff from that as well. But that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.